It's 30 years since Ayrton Senna won his record-breaking sixth and final Monaco Grand Prix. If the great five-time winner Graham Hill was known as Mr Monaco, surely Ayrton must be the maestro of Monaco. Senna competed around the streets of Monte Carlo between 1984 and 93, and remarkably, only two drivers won those ten races, the other being Alain Prost. It was an enduring battle, not least when they were teammates. Despite an impressive pole position in 1985, Senna would have to wait until 87 for his first victory in a Lotus. He even had the luxury of a pit stop for tyres, such was his dominance after Nigel Mansell retired. The Lotus team cheering and Senna takes the chicken flag. I can tell you there is no money that can make you feel like that in the last three, four laps when I really thought we had the race and a fantastic feeling. Ayrton could have won even more. 1988 was the race which got away. His pole position is written into F1 folklore out-qualifying teammate Prost by 1.4 seconds. Senna achieved such a focus and speed that he described his driving as beyond his conscious understanding. But in the race, leading by 50 seconds, he lost concentration and crashed here at Portier. That is Senna! Sensation! Ayrton Senna goes out of the lead of the Monaco Grand Prix. He was so distraught, he went back to his apartment rather than returning to the pits. After yet another dominant qualifying display, he made amends by avoiding all the usual Monaco carnage and easily winning the 1989 race despite losing first and second gears. 1990 would see his fourth pole position around the unyielding streets along with his third outright victory. It was a measured drive while many had problems behind him. Incredibly, he was now into a run where he would win five straight Monaco races. His win in 1991, yet again from pole position, nearly turned to disaster when on lap nine, he narrowly missed a marshal here at Sandovot corner. He regained composure to secure a comfortable victory over Nigel Mansell. In 1992, in that Nigel Mansell in the Williams had been dominating until a loose wheel forced him into the pits. And look, this is absolutely sensational. Nigel Mansell in the pits. He must have lost the lead to Senna. But Senna alone had stayed close enough to benefit and somehow kept the recovering Mansell behind him in a thrilling duel to the finish. Mansell closes, but it's too late. Ayrton would win again in 1993 from third on the grid. And after Alain Prost was given a jump start penalty and Michael Schumacher had an engine failure, he would win his final Monaco Grand Prix by 52 seconds. Six times a winner here. He has eclipsed his own record, which he shared with Graham Hill. Starting from the second row today, I, I really thought would be extremely difficult, perhaps the most difficult one, to win here out of the five wins I had before. Senna had a sixth sense for where to find grip and how to control a Formula One car on the limit in the most challenging conditions. His speed and determination were the perfect combination on a track which demands extreme control and concentration. Surprisingly, he's the only Brazilian driver to have won in Monaco. He used his God-given talent to perfection on a track I've often described as the Everest of Formula One. It was a desperately sad moment following his death in Imola in 1994 when the drivers held a minute silence down on the grid. This is a track that he made his own and we can only guess how many more races he could have won here.